Hello, this is Andrew, and welcome to the first of my series of uh, C++ basic tutorials. Now, if you chose to uh, learn the C++ programming language, good for you. C++ is uh, one of the uh, biggest and most widely recognized languages in the industry. Uh, most things are programmed in it from operating systems to games. But anyway, you probably know where you want to program it, so there's no point in me giving you a big history lesson about it. So, um, uh, the first thing uh, when learning C++ is you're going to need a good IDE, something to compile all your work. I would recommend Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition. Uh, I recommend it because, for starters, it's something free from Microsoft, which really, really is um, very rare these days. So, that's free, and you can download it uh, right off their website, just type in Visual C++ Express Edition and on Google and uh, this it's quite easy to find. So once you've downloaded that, it will take some time to download, open up the application and it should look something like this here. Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make your project. So we're going to go to File, New, Project. This window should pop up. Make sure the uh, project types is on Win32 and the uh, Win32 console application is selected. Uh, what we're going to do is double click on the name here and type in whatever name you want. I would type in Hello World because that's the first application we're going to make. Press OK. And then this window should appear. Uh, press Next and uh, make sure that it's selected on the console application. If it's not, push the console application radio button. Don't touch anything here, just make sure it's selected on the console application. Then press finish. Once you press finish, the program starts working and you'll get this. this it, look, it should look something like this. The solution explorer down here tells you all the files you have in your uh, project. And uh, this global sc this uh, thing here will uh, is basically where you type in all your code. So uh, I wouldn't worry about the solution for yet too much. Uh, the main thing you should know is the uh, hello world.cpp is the main file in your project. It will always be the name that you give it. So if I would have typed in test project, it would have been test project.cpp. So and this is the contents. This bit here is the contents of the uh, hello world.cpp file. Um, as you can see, Microsoft has have already made something for you, and we will delete it right away because it's not needed. Whatever you do, don't delete this statement here, because this statement here links uh, some of the header files. I won't go into too much detail into it right now, but uh, just don't delete it. Okay, the, the first thing we're going to do on the, on the the first step to creating our your first application is we're going to have to type in hash in include include less than sign i o stream more than sign okay you know when you got it right when the include turns blue and the i o stream turns a dark kind of red brown color and what that does is that tells the compiler which uh, creates your project to um read from the i o stream library one of the main libraries in c p c plus plus Okay, so let's press enter. Let's press enter twice just to always, always give some space between your lines so uh, you know what's going on. And what we're going to do is we're going to type an int main, open bracket, close bracket. And what the int main is, it's the main function in the whole uh, of the uh, hello world.c file here. This is the main uh, function that binds everything together. This is the core of it. So every single uh, project has to have a main function. So, and so, uh, this is the main function. Remember to type in int, main, open bracket, close bracket. And we type in enter. Uh, just type in enter once. So what you want to do is you want to make, uh, type in this. This is the uh, uh, open bracket here, which uh, every single function has to st have a beginning and a start. And the way we signify that is with a open and a close bracket. So that that's kind of that tells the compiler where the beginning and the end of it is. So let's just start with this one first. Okay, then we're gonna press enter and type in using name using namespace std. Haha, <laughs> you may laugh. Yes, std. But I will go into that in a second. What you do is type in a semicolon. Remember to type in a semicolon at the end of most of the 
uh, the end of pretty much all the statements at the, uh, after the open bracket here. So um, then we go enter, press enter twice, and go cut close bracket twice, no spaces. Then we uh, go to shift two to open up the quotation mark, and I will type in hello world. Shift two again to close it. Um, then uh, push another space and the less than sign twice, another space and end L. No spaces, no end space L, just end L semicolon. And now I'm going to explain what these two lines do. Basically, the reason we have this here is so uh, uh, this line tells the compiler that we're using the namespace library, and the namespace library contains these two statements and what they are is CRUT basically tells the uh, compiler to output this line into DOS which is well into the command prompt which is well the output will be in the end and the end L means end line so the um, it will go on to the next line at the end after, after it types in the hello world the uh, compiler will shift on to the next line okay so then we press enter, enter twice, and let's type in return zero semicolon. After we type in return zero, let's press backspace and we close the uh, main function. And you may be asking why do we do do return zero? There's nothing to return. Basically what this is is every single a function has to have a return value in C++ unless it's a void function but a uh, so an int function has to have a return value because this is the main function it doesn't need a return value yet so we're just going to put zero at the end of it okay just go along with it this is still the basics okay and if you have done everything right uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, press the uh, start debugging or you go to debug and start debugging I'm just going to press this one here because it's a lot more handy you press the play button. It will ask you, would you like to build it? You press yes, and down here it should start compiling your work. If you have done everything right, it shouldn't bring up any errors. Okay, once it's compiled, if you if you just saw that now, the uh, command prompt, the DOS, just glimpsed for a second and disappeared. That's quite normal, because a lot of the... Uh, this happens quite a lot of Windows machines. Uh, the compiler will compile it, but seeing that there's nothing to um, return, or the program's not doing anything, it will just quickly display hello world, and it will close down. What you want to do is, um, just before the return, type... Uh, I'm just going to paste it here, because I have it. Wh what this is, is um, just type in these few lines of code. Okay, so I've pasted this, this, these three lines here, and what they do is they will tell the compiler to stop. So it's sin dot clear, open bracket, close bracket. Then you do the semicolon sin dot ignore two five five slash n semicolon and sin dot get open bracket close button semicolon don't worry too much about what that does yet just put it in there if you want the program to stay and once we have that in here let's press play again let's press yes it should start compiling it and hopefully the command prompt should stop and yes what we have here is a program that says hello world now uh, to end it, you simply press enter twice and it will close. But these three lines, copy these three lines down on the notepad or something and um, uh, you get these three lines and uh, they will stop the program if you need to. And uh, this brings me to the end of my first uh, C++ tutorial. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.